What's going on, family? It's your boy, the one and only man, Mr. Solution. Back in the building with another video, man. I got a good one for y'all, another good one for y'all, man. Today, we're gonna learn how not to do a cross drop. How not to cross drop gas, diesel, premium, those types of things. So in this video, we're unloading gas, regular gas, premium, and we're loading, uh, unloading diesel. So I'm gonna show y'all some tips and tricks that I do that helps me prevent a cross drop. You know, so I'm gonna give y'all some tips and tricks, help y'all out. If you're seasoned, if you've been in the game, you already know how it go. If you knew, this video will really help you. So pay attention, pay close attention, take some notes, man. You know, whatever I could do to help, I'm here to help y'all. Y'all know I'm here, man. So if y'all rock with this video, you know, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, comment, leave me some comments, man. If anybody that commented on my video, I responded ASAP, you know what I'm saying? So if you leave a comment, I definitely will respond to you. So with that being said, man, let's get straight into this video. Rock with your boy, man. All right, y'all, we got something a little different today. I'm gonna show y'all step by step of how you should drop multiple gas at one time. So y'all know, um, if y'all watch my step by step video, y'all know the first thing we need to do is verify the address. So we did that, we verified the address. Now our next step is put out our cones, secure our area. <clears throat> So this is what we're about to do right now. Secure our area. Put our cones out. <clears throat> All right, area secure. You want to make like a a U, if you want to call it that. I usually make like a U around the whole area. So we're gonna do premium diesel and regular and i like these type of stations because everything is like painted and labeled that's normally only at shell gas stations that i see is labeled properly and everything like that so you don't get this at every gas station so just take it for what it's worth but here we go so we have regular regular then we have premium and we have diesel so we're gonna follow our steps and we're gonna drop diesel first and I'll show you that so stay tuned rock with me all right I'm gonna put this on my diesel I'm gonna drop that first and I'm gonna go ahead and get my premium out the way because I only have two drop guns. So, I'm going to get my two drop guns. Put one by the diesel. Put one by the premium. This is one thing I want y'all to see too. When I take off the caps, I leave the caps with the color facing up. So, I take it off and I leave the color facing up. This is an extra precaution for when I look back and double check, I can see, you know, what I'm dropping. So I'm not gonna take this one off yet because I'm checking, um, I'm dropping them two first. So first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check my levels and I'm gonna stick the tank. Go ahead and stick the premium. See if y'all can see this. I'm probably blocking it with the. Okay, we are at 54 inches on the premium. You use two separate. You use two separate sticks when it comes to diesel and regular gas. Because if y'all watch that diesel video, y'all know diesel is a lot heavier. Than gas. 
So let's check out diesel levels. Ooh, diesel. We got a lot of diesel. 78. He told me to bring 23. So we might have a retainer, y'all. I think the dispatcher is new, so 23 diesel, I doubt it's gonna fit. So we're gonna check our safe field first though before we drop anything. So I'm gonna hook up. Got them both open. Let me take out the holes. I'm gonna hook up diesel first. That's why I like the so at like I said at some gas stations you don't have this label on the ground. So that's why I keep my um my caps with the color facing up so when i look back and check i know i'm hooked up to diesel so hook up to my diesel 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 double check before i pull diesel diesel let's rip See my hose has a little leak in it Spill some gas on the ground Don't worry I can clean that up that up right quick and now that everything's flowing and I know I'm pumping premium into premium diesel into diesel this is how you prevent cross drops you do everything in methodical order so you do your diesel first because if you cross drop diesel into one of these tanks you're gonna have a big problem so that's why I do extra measures like I keep my top flipped up like that and I always double check before I pull that lever, making sure I'm hooked up to the correct gas. And also with the premium, we know we double checked, everything's good. My red to my red, I know everything's good. So now we are just gonna wait until that's done. I'ma also flip my diesel to premium because every time when I'm done, I like to, uh, have all my stuff on red if you watch my previous videos you know exactly why I do that so here we go this is how you maintain and keep from having cross drops so there it is y'all so we dropped uh we dropped our super our super is done so now 
I'm going to check my levels. I'm going to disconnect and drain the hose. And then I'm going to check the levels of everything. And we're going to go from there. Then we're going to start dropping our regular. So this is... Oh, and also the diesel. Diesel is coming out right now. It's finishing up. So I'm going to show you all the trick too as well. When it comes to this, uh, when you're loading up uh, diesel and stuff like that, I like to... Let me switch y'all over here. I like to drain my hose with the gas. So let me show y'all what I mean. All right, first I'm gonna unhook. Um, I'm gonna do my uh, drain my hose on my my premium and do this first, and then I'll move to the diesel because I'm still letting the diesel drain. So. With like two lifts and that should be good close it up unhook it all right drain it some more all right that's good right there disconnect So I disconnected it. Now, the reason why I didn't open up the regular is because I don't like it to, um, I don't like to leave it open when I'm not doing nothing with it because it's vapors coming out that uh, tank. So I leave it closed. So I don't have no, no, that's a fire hazard, you know? So I don't want no problems. I'm trying to go home safely to my fam, man. All right, so let me check my levels of my premium. We at 79. Let that drain a little bit. I'm gonna have to use this stick for my regular. Right. Close it up. Finish the day. Now I'm gonna drain the diesel. Drain the diesel out the hose. Diesel is a lot heavier, so I gotta do this probably like three times. Cause diesel will always still be in this, uh, diesel will still be in this hose because it doesn't evaporate like regular gas. So, I'm gonna walk it this last time. Make sure. Now, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch it, but I'm not gonna pull because this is regular. Open the regular. So I open the regular cap, stick the regular tank, regular is what, 72, right, 72 on the regular, so when you do, when you got diesel, you want to and to avoid using the caps on the hose you just go ahead and put it on your regular and you let that float and it'll actually wash the pipe out for you it'll wash the hose i mean out for you so you don't even have to cap it but let me make sure that it can fit first i'm gonna go ahead and stick this diesel i had 79 on premium finish 72 on regular we got 98 on the diesel so i'm gonna let that go down gotta wipe this stick off with the diesel because like i say diesel be heavy and i'm gonna put that up in a second 
first let me close off this stuff <laughs> 72 for the regular 79 for the premium 98 for the diesel 72 79 98 now 72 and a 25 let's see 61 64 and I only bought 44 with me so that'll fit so I verified with my safe field chart I know that it, it'll fit so now I can let it rip make sure everything is good sometimes these gas stations uh they pipe that's connected to the drop gun it usually either be loose or they have some things wrong with it so that's why you hear that airflow because it's kind of open in there So we got the hard part done. We got the premium dropped. That's done. And we got the diesel dropped. That's done. So we know we safely delivered the fuel. We didn't do no cross drops. We can breathe easily, you know? So everything's good. Now I started this one. So now, like I told y'all, I always flipped it to red. This is my last compartment to drop. So that 3300, uh, it'll take a few minutes, probably like five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my numbers in and make sure, double check nothing's, make sure nothing is leaking and stuff like that. And as y'all can see, we good. I put my, uh, I put my uh, stick, my uh, dipstick back. Now we good, man. We can just write our numbers down. All right, so it looks like our regular is just now finishing up. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it kind of coming through. That's the last bit of it. I'm going to let it go on for like another 10 or 15 seconds. Then I'm going to swap it to this one just to get this one out the way. And when I'm done, I'll move it back to get the rest that probably is still in there. Switch it to red. That's our last compartment. I'll check back with y'all in a minute. Alright, so everything done. I'm sorry I ain't really show y'all all the uh, rest of the process. I was uh I got tied up on a phone call, but you know, I got everything down, my sidebar down, my cones put back up, my area is clean, you know. And this is how you safely drop multiple gas, or I don't know how you say it, but how you drop you know different types of gas all at the same time now you can't technically drop them all at the same time because i only have two drop guns but that's it that's how you do it baby y'all stay tuned for more and we gonna we 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 gonna we gonna bless y'all you know what i'm saying we out all right all right all right that was a good one huh i already know man that was a good one baby you know how we do it up in here you know what I'm saying? We're very informative. We we like to, I like to teach, you know what I'm saying? So if you new to this uh trucking thing, if you new to this tanker business, these these videos that I drop, man, they'll help you tremendously. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man, because I'm not stopping, y'all. I got way more videos to drop. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be here, baby. So if you like that video, man, go ahead and check out these other videos I did. And uh, I'm going to let YouTube uh, give y'all a little, you know what I'm saying, whatever they want to give y'all. Y'all check that video out too, man. So we out of here, baby. With that being said, peace.